<laughs> Look at that face. What a good dog. Hey everybody, uh, today I got Shiva, who is doing a guest post, guest video. He came up with a way to apply gradients to your action bars in iOS. So gradients have always been possible in action bars on Android, but on iOS there's a problem with that and there's an open issue on GitHub that's been open for a while and it's a little bit difficult to do that on iOS apparently. So here's a workaround until that gets merged into the framework itself. Here's a workaround that Shiva has come up with. Check it out. NativeScript allows you to easily add colorful gradients to your app just by using linear gradient as you would when writing CSS. So in this page, as you can see, I've created a few labels and they each have these classes which correspond to different gradients. And you see those gradients are appearing down here. But on the action bar, I've applied this action bar gradient class, but you can see that the action bar gradient is not getting applied. This is due to an issue in native script that is not letting gradients to work on action bar on iOS. And in this video, you're going to learn how to fix this problem. Following this uh, issue, I found this Stack Overflow thread posted by the author where I learned that you can just create a gradient layer and assign it as the navigation bar's background on iOS. And using that, I wrote some code which you can just uh, find a link to in the description. And all you need to do is copy this function and its imports and use it in your app. Attach a loaded event on your action bar and call this function that I wrote. And you can see that now we have gradient action bar on iOS. Let's take a look at how this code is written. Um, when the action bar loads, I'm just getting the iOS navigation bar and I'm creating a gradient layer and I'm taking the navigation bar's bounds, uh, the size of the navigation bar and assigning it to the gradient size and I'm setting the required colors and starting point and ending point. You can play around with this. And then I'm also starting a new UI graphics image context using the size of the action bar's bounds and then I'm using UI graphics get image from current image context to render our gradient layer as an image. And then I'm taking that image and setting as the background of the navigation bar. And for some reason, it has to be done inside the set timeout, otherwise it just doesn't work. And that's all I had to share in this video. And I also have this handy tool for you called uigradients.com where you can just find different type of gradients which you can use in your apps. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot Shiva and welcome back. If you all have questions for Shiva, let him know down in the comments below. Axel, hey, what a good boy. Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.